Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, this is equal to 16. What is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So we are going to solve this problem by applying two methods. So let's start with method 1 from here. So we have method 1, method 1. So we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, this is equal to 16. We have that 4 to the power of x here is common, so we can factor out 4 to the power of x, so that now into the parentheses, 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x, this is 1, then plus 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x, this is 1, and this is equal to 16. So we have here 4 to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus 1, this is equal to 2, and this is equal to 16. So let's, from here, let's divide both signs by 2, so that now we have here 4 to the power of x, this is equal to 16 divided by 2, and this is equal to 8. The next step is that we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2, and we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Substituting this here, so we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power x. This is equal to 8, which is 2 to the power of 3. Then you find that 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power of 2x, this is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common here, exponent n is equal to m. And this implies that from here, 2x is equal to 3. So let's divide both signs by 2, so that now we have the solution here. That is x is equal to 3 over 2. That is by applying method 1. Let's proceed to method 2 from here. Method 2. So in method 2, we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 16. So again, since 4 to the power of x is common here, we have 4 to the power of x into the parentheses. This is 1 plus 1. This is equal to 16. And therefore, we have 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1. This is equal to 2. And this is equal to 16. Now let's divide both signs here by 2. So that now, 4 to the power of x here, this is equal to 16 divided by 2. This is 8. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, that is log 4 to the power of x, this is equal to log 8. And therefore, log 4 to the power of x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n, which we can express as n log a. Now, from here, applying this power root property, then log 4 to the power of x becomes x log 4, this is equal to log 8. Let's divide both signs by log 4 and also here by log 4. So if we simplify here, we have that x is equal to log 4, that is log 8 divided by log 4. The next step is that we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 and we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. So here x is equal to, now this is log 8, which is log 2 to the power of 3, then divided by log 4, which is log 2 to the power of 2. Now, applying the power root property, as we have seen, that is log a to the power of n, we can express this as n log a. Applying this power root property, then we can transform rock 2 to the power of 3 as 3 rock 2. 
divided by here we have rock 2 to the power of 2 this becomes 2 rock 2 and then rock 2 and rock 2 here simplifies so that now we have the value of x as 3 over 2 so applying both method 1 and method 2 yields the same value of x so that now the last step here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so if you recall we have that 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 16 from here we can express 4 basically as 2 to the power of 2 so here we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x and x in this case is 3 over 2 then plus again here we have 4 which is 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x remember x is 3 over 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 16 from here so from here we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 over 2 this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m which we can express as a to the power of n times m and this implies that from here we have 2 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 then plus 2 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 16 from here so if we simplify here we have 2 to the power of 3 plus again we simplify 2 and 2 here so that we have 2 to the power of 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 16 so 2 to the power 3 here this is the same thing as 8 then plus 2 to the power 3 again this is the same thing as 8 this is supposed to give us a value of 16 and this implies that here we have 8 plus 8 this is equal to 16 which is equal to 16 from here and therefore we note that from here the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that applying both method 1 and method 2 gives us the same value of x and this value of x is 3 over 2 so country for the steps like this video if you have alternative formulas country showcase in the comment section and see you in the next video see you in the next video thank you for watching